CC Griddler is found under the Distort category, and this is a really fun effect. I'm gonna go ahead and apply it to my logo here, and we have a very simple set of controls. The first two are horizontal and vertical scale. And if I turn these both down to say 50, then my logo is gonna be cut up basically into this grid. But as I click and drag this, you can see that it's not just making those parts of my logo transparent. It's actually scaling down each part of that grid by whatever factor I have the horizontal and vertical scale set to. So let me just add some keyframes a little bit into my timeline on the horizontal and vertical scale and go back to the start and reset that. I'll press U to bring up my keyframes and zoom in and just easy ease these so we can play this back and see what it's doing. Every one of those sections is actually scaling down. And I can manipulate this even further. The tile size determines how big that grid is or how big those sections are. So I could really crank this down and it would be a much more detailed grid. Or it could increase the size and it would be much larger. And now it's really easy to see all of those individual sections scaling down. I'll dial that back just a little bit. And then the next property is rotation. And this allows you to rotate each individual section by whatever you set it to. And this creates a very cool spiraling effect. So maybe I'll go ahead and add some keyframes on that as well, aligned with the tile scale. Set that back to zero on the first frame, press U to bring up those keyframes and easy ease it with F9 on the keyboard. Now those pieces not only scale down, but they also rotate out. And if I were to take away that scale animation, then they're just going to rotate in place and not change their size at all. All right, I'll realign those keyframes. And the last property is this cut tiles checkbox. And this is a little easier to see without the rotation. So I'm gonna move those keyframes out of the way and uncheck cut tiles. So what this is doing is leaving those tiles filled and just shifting the contents around. So there's a lot more being duplicated here rather than having those borders actually be transparent. It's just shifting the contents around within the tiles based on the tile size. So if I change this to be a much higher number and turn that off and back on, you can see how that's different and how the rotation and scale affect it. Like I said, this is a really fun effect. And if you played around with what you applied this to, maybe a four color gradient, I'll actually just add in a solid composite. So I fill in the background and then add a four color gradient on top of that and make sure to move CC Griddler after those effects. I can create some very interesting looks. So play around with this effect, have some fun and see what you can come up with. But that's CC Griddler in a nutshell. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you wanna support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all that stuff in the description of this video.